各位好，我是胡婉玲，欢迎收看《台湾演艺》节目。西藏精神领袖达赖喇嘛于一九五九年从西藏流亡北印度，几十年来，他作为观世音菩萨的化身，藏传佛教掌门人，影响力之大，总计十多万藏人追随他出走海外。转眼间，一甲子，六十年时间过去了。年高八十四的他，对于西藏问题以及百万藏人们的福祉是否责任已了，令人关切。尤其达赖喇嘛于二零一一年正式卸下政治职务，交由西藏流亡政府民主选举。后达赖喇嘛时期的局势究竟如何？各界同样关心。因此，我们特别在藏历年期间，他海外流亡六十周年前夕，前往喜马拉雅山腰的达兰萨拉进行专访，寻求解答。那么，以下就是我们和他的谈话。藏历年期间，我们在雪中行走，我们要赶赴达拉喇嘛办公室开张，我们是第一组的访客。从一九五九年第十四世达赖喇嘛从拉萨出走，逃往印度。隔年一九六零年，便落脚于北印度达兰萨拉。转眼间，一甲子，六十年过去了。达兰萨拉位于喜马拉雅山脉南面，是印度北部喜马谢尔邦内的一处山城。海拔一千五百公尺高，为山谷、溪流和田园所环绕。民事新闻乘车从山底蜿蜒而上，沿途可以眺望白雪皑皑的喜马拉雅山脉。我们到访的时机正是藏历过年的冬季，山区天气时而下雨。时而下雪，甚至会下冰雹。台湾在新历年，这里是藏历年期间，我们在雪中行走，我们要赶赴达拉喇嘛办公室开张，我们是第一组的访客。踩过厚厚的积雪，通过层层的严格把关。去，走开吧。我们来到达赖喇嘛私人办公室。Greetings, Your Holiness. Long time no see. I'm Anne Hu with Formosa TV. I have interviewed you several times before. Do you remember me? Vaguely. <laughs> This side. Okay. Vaguely remember. Shall we start? Yes. This is the 60th year of your exile from Tibet. 60 years signifies. A complete circle of a human life, traditionally.、Uh, how do you feel about being here such a long time? As a Buddhist monk,、uh, from childhood, childhood, so we always pray Buddhism,、uh, Buddhism, 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 and thinking, and transcendent being. Uh, so then, the limitless galaxies. We have no、uh, no way to communicate, sentient being on these limitless galaxies. Only this galaxy. Within that, only this world. And within this world,、uh, limitless different sort of sentient being, animal, birds, insects,、uh, we can do only pray. Otherwise, nothing can be done.、Mm. The only possibility is seven billion human being.、Mm. We have language,、mm. and same human brain,、mm. 
Uh, so there is way, you see, to serve humanity uh, in order to utilize human brain and the basic human good quality is human love, compassion. Now scientists say basic human nature is more compassionate. Reason, quite simple. We are social animals. Even dogs or birds, other animals. Those social animals, you see, emotionally, there is something to bring together. That's what we call compassion. So since we are social animal, compassion, taking care of each other, helping each other, that's a basic human nature. Without that, we can't survive. Mm -hmm. This is nothing to do with religion, mm -hmm. but basic human nature like that. So, uh, and then utilize human intelligence. You see, inner peace, very important. The materialistic life bring physical comfort, not inner peace. Mm -hmm. Inner peace can achieve only through training of our mind. So in that respect, whether believer or non-believer, the seven billion human being, same. So I committed as a one human being. Firstly, try to promote oneness of seven billion human beings. Mm -hmm. uh, as a matter of fact, a lot of problems which we are facing, including Taiwanese. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, and mainly in China also. It's a lot of problems. Mm -hmm. All these problems. Uh, mm -hmm. I think we too much emphasis on secondary level of differences, including different religious faith, different nationality, different economy, political uh, ideology or system. Mm -hmm. So all these, uh, I usually call man-made problem. Uh, besides nature disaster, that's beyond our control. But many problems, is actually our own creation. Uh, one way, basic human nature is more compassionate. And everybody wants peace of mind. Yet we create a lot of problems. Now this, uh, we are lacking basic human value mm -hmm. uh, on, the, on the basis of sense of oneness of seven billion human beings. So therefore, since a lot of problems, our own creation due to different religion, due to, due to different, as I mentioned earlier, different sort of uh, nationality like that. Mm -hmm. So the only remedy is go deeper level. Mm -hmm. We are same human being. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, I always uh, or say the practice myself as a student of Buddha or particularly a Nalanda tradition as a student of Lusu Pusa. Now, so I practice oneness of seven billion human beings. Mm -hmm. And the ultimate source of joyfulness is much dependent on our own emotion. So these days I telling the uh, hygiene of physical important, mm -hmm. but more important is hygiene of emotion. So in that respect, the, although all religion is a carry message of love, forgiveness, tolerance, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But one unique thing about Buddha Dharma, particularly Nalanda tradition, is he investigate the whole system of our emotion, and then make clear what kind of emotion, such as anger, uh, destroy our peace of mind? And compassionate mind, very useful. So then both, due to its own causes, not independently exist or develop. So then deal 
the causes of anger and causes of compassion. That's Buddhist psychology. Mm-hmm. So I, I consider mainly you see, these things. I myself practice. So 60 years as a refugee. Uh, in a way, you see, if I'm too much emphasis, Tibetan, 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 mm-hmm. then 60 years as a refugee is sad. <laughs> but I emphasize human being, humanity, sentient being, then not much problem. Mm-hmm. Wherever you, uh, I say you live, mm-hmm. if you, if you can ser- serve some mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. then in this respect, freedom is very important. Mm-hmm. So sometimes, you see, become refugee. I have more freedom mm-hmm. in this country. Uh, firstly, India, Tibet. Uh, it's a long time unique relations. All our knowledge come from India, mm-hmm. Nalanda, mm-hmm. uh, and of course, ultimately Buddha. Mm-hmm. So therefore, uh, India is spiritually our original home. Mm-hmm. So when we come to uh, India as a refugee, uh, 1959, in a way, very sad. In a way, we uh, reach our original, our spiritual home. Mm-hmm. So like that, thinking this line, then not much worry. Mm-hmm. If you think uh, your own place and your own family, when I ask, when, when I left Hassa, my left there, her age 80, 82 or something, if I too much sort of think my own family, and I have to sort of as they think more, more worry, or oh, that old lady now remain there <laughs> like that. Mm-hmm. But think about the humanity, about the sentient being. Uh, that really makes differences, way of thinking. Then, secondly, a Buddha's teaching. Everything due to karma, common karma, uh, and individual karma. Mm-hmm. So we try our best to overcome all these or say the difficulties. But when we face unavoidable sort of difficulties, then we think karma. Okay, no problem. So so long. The wrong view here. But then problem automatically come. Mm-hmm. So if we really, as a Buddhist, Buddhist practitioner, mm-hmm. if we really want to overcome suffering, mm-hmm. then we must investigate what is the causes of suffering. Mm-hmm. As a Buddha's Four Noble Truth, Buddha's teaching, mm-hmm. Four Noble Truth. Suffering, causes of suffering, and then permanent happiness or cessation, then the way to achieve that for noble truth. Mm-hmm. I practice these things. So really, uh, immense help mm-hmm. for my uh, way of life, mm-hmm. way of thinking. Mm-hmm. We know you have already retired from political life. Yes. But do you feel that you have accomplished your responsibilities to Tibetans, either in many China or overseas? Political responsibility, the first Dalai Lama, no political responsibility. Second Dalai Lama, no political responsibility. Third Dalai Lama, no political responsibility. Great scholar and great teacher So these three great Dalai Lama, the Dalai Lama, you see, they also you see, construct some significant uh, monastic institution. For example, first Dalai Lama, Trishlubu Monastery, uh, constructed by first Dalai Lama. So their whole time, you see, use uh, serving Buddha Dharma, 
uh, not political power. Then fifth Dalai Lama, due to certain circumstances, and eventually, I think with the help of Mongolian, Mongols, Dalai, Dalai Lama, fifth Dalai Lama, then become head of both temporal and spirituality. So, under certain circumstances at that time, uh, could be some useful. But then, I feel the Lama institution should not involve political power. If Lama institution involves political power, then institution itself eventually, you see, uh, becomes something, or say, the uh, exploiter. Not good. Mm -hmm. uh, so then, political uh, power uh, in the hand of Lama, very dangerous, very bad. Since my childhood, I developed a city conviction the existing Tibetan political system is wrong. Between previous Dalai Lama and the next Dalai Lama, regent usually usually happen. And then all power in regent's hand. So there are a lot of unhealthy uh, uh, things there, because you see the uh, power in the hands of few few people. So, since uh, my childhood, I really notice, oh, the, that system is not good. Uh, then I heard, already I got some sort of knowledge, democracy. So then I develop more or say the uh, conviction or attraction about democratic system. Uh, I think Japan, king there, uh, but real uh, situation is democratic, elected political leadership. Uh, similarly, England, uh, queen there, but actually uh, elect, elect, through uh, parliament, carry main responsibility. This is all good. Uh, I think kings and queens' rule is outdated. <laughs> Similarly, uh, Dalai Lama's rule also also outdated. Oh. I feel. I see. Mm. So therefore, uh, as soon as or uh, as soon as I took the responsibility, temporary responsibility, I start reform work and start uh, one committee. Uh, to carry reform. That 1950, I think around 52, I took the responsibility in 1950. Then soon I set up one committee to carry reform, but not successful. Because the Chinese communists, they want reform according to their own way. Therefore, if we carry some reform is more suitable according to the local condition. So that might be hindrance, might be hindrance for, for start reform according to their own way, which they implement in China proper, and a lot of problems, and class struggle. So therefore, uh, not, not successful, but then 59, as soon as I reach India, I start uh, the work for democratization. 1959, I reach Missouri, and our, our Kashak member, the, uh, the administration, and also the various the Tibetan settlement, is a basic basic thing. We try to. Demo follow democratic, uh, democratic way, like that. 1960, uh, the new year, and then I was in Bodhigaya, many Tibetans uh, gathered there. Then we set up 
or what's it, the people's what's it, deputies, like that. So then, uh, 2001, I totally uh, retired. And we already have elected political leadership. So I really feel uh, uh, one of my dream fulfilled. Mm -hmm. Dalai Lama, about four century old institution, tradition, both head of temple and spirituality, uh, voluntarily and uh, proudly, uh, happily. Uh, so we really implement sincerely, seriously about democracy. Mm -hmm. You Taiwanese practice that. It's good. Okay. Men in China not yet developed. <笑>在和民事新闻的台华间 Dalalama明确地点出困难所在。而在转世议题上,Dalalama说,未来不排除出现女性达赖喇嘛的可能。Okay, let's talk about Taiwan. And uh, currently the leader of Taiwan is President Tsai Ing-wen, uh, the first woman in that position. Uh, what are your views on Taiwan's female leader? That's good. Actually, generally, see, uh, now we are uh, 21st century. Education, knowledge alone, not sufficient. No guarantee to create happy society, happy world. We need human compassion. So now time come. Uh, in education, we must include, as I mentioned earlier, hygiene of emotion, mainly compassion. Now, not only just uh, material value, thinking outside, no, inner value. So in that respect, uh, the female, according to scientists, now biologically female, more compassionate. In world history, all those heroes, hero means killing other people, most of them male. Mm -hmm. Occasionally some female also <laughs> there. <laughs> but generally, I think biologically, the, now scientists say, biologically female, more compassionate mind. Mm -hmm. and, and logically, you see, mother is female. Mother, you see, taking maximum care mm -hmm. about their children. Without that, we can't survive. Mm -hmm. So therefore, uh, now uh, at time, we need special effort for promotion of human compassion through education, not through religion, but through education. Uh, female now should take more active role regarding promotion of human deeper value. Mm -hmm. That's human love, compassion. Mm -hmm. So your president as female, oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. I think I met. Yeah. Oh, then. Oh, mm -hmm. wonderful, wonderful. At that time, she wasn't president yet. But uh, what is the likelihood of you visiting Taiwan again in the near future? That's unless 
some positive signal from Peking, oh. I cannot go there. Okay. <laughs> Both Taiwan and me here, you see, we have some strict teacher. So we have to find signal from our teacher. Otherwise, it's difficult to go there. <laughs> the communist, you see, their attitude, I think, seems to see some changing. Some indication, some changing. I think because uh, in mainland China, big number of Buddhists there, mm -hmm. and many Buddhists is come here, and I usually give teaching like that. Mm -hmm. So many uh, Buddhists from mainland China, when they come here, many of them weeping, tear, mm -hmm. and they ask me, "Don't forget us." Then I always respond, yes, I never forget. Mm -hmm. I always think the only thing is the political situation. So, so things gradually, you see, things are changing. And uh, the firstly, since 74, this very room, we decided sooner or later, we have to talk with the Chinese government. People support with China. Uh, so then we stop raise, raising Tibetan issue at the UN. Stop. And we wait, talk with Chinese government. 1979. 79. Ding uh, Xiaoping want to meet my elder brother. Some indication. Then elder brother him to see me, what to do. Then I told him, yes, now we, 74, we decided not seeking independence, uh, uh, no longer raising issue at the UN. So now, uh, if there is some indication from Ding Xiaoping, go, go there and talk, our stand, not seeking independence, like that. So then, uh, so we did, uh, so basically, you see, the, what we are seeking is those rights which mentioned in Chinese constitution. These rights should implement in Tibet, all Tibetan area, and respect Tibetan culture, Tibetan Buddhism. I think we can serve immensely to millions of Chinese Buddhists. And meantime, the Chinese uh, can help for material development in Tibet. So it is a mutual benefit. Then political independence, it is uh, just a concept. I always admire European Union sp spirit, thinking, common interest, rather than national sovereign, like that. It is practical. And look, India also. East India, South India, West India, North India, Central India. You see, different language, different script, and some extent, some different culture. But all happily remain one union of India. So now time come. You see, they think common interest. So for that reason, uh, since 74, we decided not seeking independence, remain within the people's part of China. Mm -hmm. So like that. Okay. All right. Uh, you mentioned still the female issue. You mentioned before that there might be a female Dalai Lama in oh, yes. the future. Yes. Mm -hmm. Why not? Mm -hmm. In Tibetan uh, I think firstly, Buddha give equal right, male and female. The highest vow, bhikshu, is monk bhikshu, of, uh, nun bhikshu ni, it's equal right. Is that your insistence? And then in Tibet also, mm -hmm. many high lama, mm -hmm. reincarnated lama, female. Now? In the past, or last, I think, a 
because you know, I think 700 years. Like Sundi Dojbamo, earliest female reincarnation, reincarnated Lama, mm -hmm. then generations always uh, uh, female reincarnation. Like that. So, in Tibetan mind, this is not, not something unusual. There's no problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's talk about some other issue. Um, there is a rising tide of conservatism and protectionism, as we all see from Brexit and uh, the U.S. Donald Trump's border wall campaign. How do you view on this trend? So American politics, their politics. <laughs> <laughs> Within American, the, uh, also the parliament member, mm -hmm. both houses, so there are many, many people disagree mm -hmm. <laughs> about president's view, but that's American business. I have no, uh, also no also the, uh, direct or say the, uh, responsibility. However, when he mentioned, uh, when he became president, mm -hmm. uh, the, he mentioned America first. I didn't like that. America, leading nation of free world, should think about world, global issue, rather than just American economy, American economy, mm -hmm. number one. Number two, he not much pay attention about global warming. It is wrong. Mm -hmm. Now here, Dharamsala also, you see, we experienced last 60 years, the global, global warming. Now, fortunately, last night, uh, quite, quite good snow. <laughs> Otherwise, you see, last 60 years, less and less and less and less. 1960, winter, we notice a lot of snow. Mm -hmm. Then, gradually, less and less, less, mm -hmm. except last night, like that. So therefore, we actually experienced mm -hmm. global warming. Mm -hmm. Now, America also now experiencing, mm -hmm. in Northeast America, too much snow, too much cold, and western side, you see fire, fire, these things, so now global issue, one, uh, one Taiwanese, correct, because it's anybody, uh, one occasion, our discussion. Mm -hmm. You see, he really, you I see, oh, was a warning, was a warning mm -hmm. uh, within this century, mm -hmm. oh, the global warming may become a very serious matter. So, like that. Not everyone is a Buddhist. Not everyone has a religious belief. Mm -hmm. What's your advice for those uh, people surrounded by material abundance, yet spiritual emptiness? Uh, can mm -hmm. your yes. secular ethics work? Yes. Yes. Now in this country, India, mm -hmm. uh, over 3,000 years, uh, the concept about spirituality. That means about training of mind. Mm. So over 3,000 years in this country develop the meditation uh, in order to tackle our emotion. So when uh, the practice or training our mind, we call shamatha and vipassana, analytical meditation and single-pointed meditation. These things over 3,000 years develop here. Meantime, the secular, you see, these practice, some, you see, they, they also use him mention for physical health, also use meditation, including some yoga practice not necessarily meant for next life or salvation. So that's secular. So now today, 
India, they, uh, among the non believer, is this some yoga practice for physical health? Mm -hmm. So that is a secular way. Mm -hmm. So these days, I am telling the uh, knowledge about our emotion, mm -hmm. about mind, mm -hmm. and through training our mind to develop inner peace. This not necessarily consider religion. These are academic subjects. How to take care about our inner peace. I think today's world, mm. one, I think the drawback is the modern education. Start from West. Mm. The Western world, according to their religion, God, Creator. Just faith. Not much talk. Training of our mind. Whereas in India, training of our mind over 3,000 years. Buddha himself, product of that tradition. So that, now we, sh we should consider as an academic subject, mm. not a religious subject. Mm. So that's uh, secular. In India, a uh, thousand years, the concept of secular, whether believer or believe something or not, up to individual. But the physical, healthy, healthy physical, healthy mind is interest for everyone. 从我个人过去在华视以及近二十多年在民视的服务，到二零一九年初，已经第八度独家专访达赖喇嘛。而这次我们独家专访达赖喇嘛的时间点。他已年高八十四岁，对于生死报以了然豁达。他不仅吐露自己的健康状况，也说他慢跑，而且亲切地展示他每天借以养生的九节佛风呼吸大法。同时，他透露预言，自己的寿命将活到一百一十三岁，而且未来的十年，他会积极地运用生命。达赖喇嘛还和我们约定了，十年后九十四岁还会接受我们的专访。藏历年期间，我们在雪中行走，我们要赶赴达赖喇嘛办公室开张，我们是第一组的访客。The health of Your Holiness is of great concern to many people. So, how's your health? Now, naturally, now, uh, 84 year old. So, getting older and older. <laughs> and uh, actually, year by year, uh, even I live 100 years, year by year, closer, closer, death. That's unavoidable. But the important is, while I alive, my life should be uh, something useful mm -hmm. to serving other people, mm -hmm. to share on own, um, my own experience, how to develop inner peace. Mm -hmm. And then I am Buddhist, the Nalanda student. So to those Buddhists, uh, including some scientists, traditionally not Buddhist, but showing interest about some of Buddhist way of thinking, how to train our mind and philosophy, like quantum physics. Mm -hmm. So I serve them mm -hmm. as much as I can. Mm -hmm. So then I feel my life something useful. Okay. You once assured to your followers that you would live for over 100 years old. Yes, according to some prediction, some Tibetan uh, great Lama. I think 200 years ago, I think, he predicted uh, as a one important sort of person, uh, the sort of some, some sort of explanation about that, probably some connection with me. So that mentioned that person lived 113 years old, 113 years. 
So some my uh, dream, also you see some indication, 113, but that I don't know. But now 84, so next 10 years, the 94, I think I can be uh, more active. <coughs> After that, too old. Can we have a deal? 10 years later, we have an interview again, either here or in Taiwan. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, maybe don't have to wait t 10 years. But do you do exercises every day? Oh, yes, some exercise. Can you show the exercise you do to maintain your health? Show I us. don't know, just you see, some walk and then some like that. Firstly. Three times. Then three times. Then Simple. Oh, altogether nine, nine times. The long breathing. Oh. That also part of the uh, practice. Do you do any action more exciting, more stronger? Yes, I do something. Jogging? I, mm. Actually, the physical exercise, when I uh, visit Peking, 1954, my bodyguard, one Jia hmm? mm. a wonderful person, oh. uh, he taught uh, phys physical exercise. Oh. Then after that, every morning, he come and ask me to, to play with him, to practice with him. There's one change because of that practice. Uh, you know, the, before that, the Zheng Ruj, Zheng Ruj, Ruba. Shung, 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 so as a result of the practice like that, eventually that gone, become normal. That obvious sort of noticeable thing. Mm. So like that, if I sort of, sort of the practice of Kazota competition, some Tukshalyavina, the but you never try yet. <laughs> you, you did not try yet. Yes, not yet. Yes. Now, now within, within my own place, you see, uh, I walk and sometimes a little bit sort of kasoda. Kasa. Jogging. Jogging. Like that. But okay. But the important is mind. Mm -hmm. Physical or uh, well built, but here dull. Then not much use. <laughs> like uh, the like elephant or some other animal. Huge body, very strong, mm -hmm. but here nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> some old people, you see. Uh, their mind, a little bit, is it difficult? Mm -hmm. So for that, 
my mind still very sharp mm -hmm. yes. no problem okay. i think through my training mm -hmm. good thank you thank you thank you your holiness all our best wishes are with you thank you thank you进入后达赖喇嘛时期，达赖喇嘛已经减少碰触政治议题，包括西藏前途、海外藏人的未来，以及西藏行政中心，也就是西藏流亡政府如何运作，都没有在我们这次的反台范围。但是这几个面向，我